Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's yes, go ahead can. and uh, get started. Who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? Who can tell me what vocabulary do you remember what exercise do you remember? What activities do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, yes. The who's? Who? Who's? Can, can you give me an example uh, using who's? What's an example? Um, who's the phone is, it, is this? Okay. Whose cell phone is this? Good. Whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? Another example? Uh, the whom? Mm. The whom? Which whom is a uh, Favorite actors. Okay. Who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? Good, good. Or you can say whom mm -hmm. is whom? your favorite Actor, la diferencia es que who y whom es que whom es más formal. Sí. Okay. Another example. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? Good. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your teacher? Your favorite singer. Okay. Who's your teacher? Who's your teacher? Good. Another question. In este caso, como es eh, profesor, se, se usaría más whom o who? Eh, pues lo más común sería who, el whom se utiliza más que nada como en lectura, como en un libro. Ok. Pero si lo estás solo hablando, lo más normal sería who, who is your teacher. El whom lo vas a ver como en la Biblia o libros de académica o cosas así. Lecturas, ensayos. Y en una conversación de negocios, digamos, ¿qué se utilizaría más? En una reunión de negocios, eh, si lo estás hablando, usa el who. Ya si lo ves en un, digamos, en un contrato, digamos, en un documento de algún abogado, de alguna corte, vas a ver whom. Incluso okay. cuando hacen una carta formal, ponen to whom, to whom it may concern. Uh, si empieza la carta. Para quien le interese, to whom it may concern. Eh, yo, Rubén Santos, mm -hmm. ra, 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 y empieza la carta. ¿verdad? Es un contrato o una carta. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, so these are some examples of the questions that we were looking at yesterday. Eh, esto fue lo que estuvimos tocando el día de ayer. Uh, does anybody have any questions about this information? Questions about this information? Somebody? No, nobody. Okay. All right. So uh, what I would like for us to do is go ahead and we're going to be moving forward. And we are going to, todos hicieron ya esta actividad. The activity is section 5.4. Did everybody finish section 5.4? Yes, teacher, I finished. Okay, all right. Let me have one volunteer. Uh, instructions, complete the conversation with the correct WH question words. Ahí se escucha que alguien está hablando. ¿Quién tiene encendido el micrófono? Melanie. Eh, Melanie, por favor, mantenga en silencio el micrófono. All right, let's look at the first one. Conversation number one. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. ¿Quién me puede dar la, la WH question? It's when, when do you usually watch soccer? Okay. When do you usually watch soccer? Good. When? Cuando. Cuando. That's right. Uh, on Sunday afternoons. And hmm, do you usually watch when? it at home? And where do when? you usually watch it at home? Where and where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Conversation number two. Hmm? Who often, often do you go? Often do you go by reading? By writing. So right there, we're going to say how. How often do you go by writing? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Really? When do you go? When? Ahí le está diciendo voy todos los domingos. No creo que le dice when. ¿Cuál sería ahí? Who? Eh, ah. La última, who? who? Really? Who do you go? Mm. When do you go? Ah, es la A. When, when, when do, do you, go? you go? When do you go? When do you go? Estamos hablando de la... When, when do you go? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Who? 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 Do you usually go with my sister? Come with us next time. Perfect. All right. Let me have two volunteers. Que lean la primera. Uno que sea A y el otro que sea B. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Esmeralda, usted va a ser A. Ernesto, usted va a ser B. Okay. Okay. I go to sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer, it is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? 
on Sunday at a siesta. No, at my friend's house, he has a really bad television. Eh, sería big television o big television? Big television. Ajá, uh -huh. big, big television. Big correct. television. Big television. Big television. That would be the correct one. All right, good job. Uh, does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about this vocabulary? Okay, let me have one more volunteer for conversation number two. Two volunteers for conversation number two. Yo, teacher. Yo, so, yo uno. Okay, uh, so David... Puede ser A y Ana levantó la mano. Ana can be B. Ok. Ok. Este, how often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. Oh, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? When did you go? Usually at, at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, only one observation. The pronunciation is usually. 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 Listen and repeat. Usually. Usually. Ok. Quisiera que practiquen las conversaciones en parejas. Cambiar de roles. Teacher. Yes. One question. Yes. Eh, lo primero, donde dice who often, o cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Ah, ahí sería how often. How often. Oh. How often? often. How okay. often? Often. How often? Nos vamos a dividir entonces. Este, Hola, perdón, que no se veía mucho agüí. Sí. Nos vamos sí. a dividir en parejas para eh, practicar las conversaciones. Sí. Okay. ¿Alguien la podría poner la conversación, por favor? Yo la comparto entonces. Okay. Gracias. <risa> ok, ahí está. Esta es la, la uno. Este, ¿cómo nos dividiríamos? ¿Cuántos somos? Tres. Somos cinco. Dos, cinco, tres. Entonces, cinco. Quiero ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, ¿sí? Cinco, ok. Entonces empecemos, uno, ahí. De, Ana y Delmi <risa> pueden empezar ustedes y después okay. seguimos los demás. Ok, ok. Entonces yo sería A. Ah, ok. Yo B. Okay. Entonces inicia. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? Oh, Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend. It's in my friend's house. He has a really big television. Big television, okay. Ahora invertimos los papeles. Okay. Que siga otro para que avancemos. Sería big o sería big? Big. 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 Okay. Entonces, ¿continuamos o continúan, compañeros? Si, si, si gustan, eh, 
puedo ir con alguien. No sé quién está más disponible. ¿Yo? Catherine. Yes. Ok, si gusta, usted es la A, yo la B. Ok. <clears throat> I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? Uh, saucer or soccer? Um, soccer. Soccer. Okay. Okay. Soccer is my favorite. When soccer. do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No. At my friend's house. He has a really big television. Ok. Thanks. Muy bien. Entonces pasamos a la siguiente conversación. Y Austin. Ah, Austin. Falta Austin. Austin. Austin está por aquí. Austin. Hola, hola. No me cargaba. Es que está como me está lloviendo. Tengo un poco mal el ¿Quieres preguntar usted, Austin? Sí, sí, sí. Usted sería Austin que repase la primera con alguien más ahí. Ah, ya sería está. la. ¿Cuál sería? Esta, la conversación 1. Ok, ok. ¿Quieres práctico con usted? Sí, sí, está bien. Ok, sería el A o el B. Eh, ah, cualquiera. Inicia entonces. At the watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday. Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay. Ahora la, la conversación dos. ¿Lo vamos a hacer en el mismo orden como lo hicimos? Sí, está, está bien. bien. Ok. ¿Con quién me tocó la primera vez? Con Delmi sería How often do you go bike riding? Riding? Oh, about once a month. Although I love to go, to go bike riding, I go every Sunday. Really? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome back, everybody. We're going to go ahead and take up the, the next activity. For the next activity, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen puedo y no puedo. For example. Oh, natural when using can and can't. Can everybody hear? Listening to the can everybody hear? Can and yes. can't. Okay. Can yes. and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. Everybody repeat. I can act, but I can't sing very well. I can add, I but can I can't can sing, can sing, well. well. sing very well. I can, I can act, act very well. but I can't sing very well. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act, above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. 
Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it. Okay. For this activity, I would like for everybody to practice the pronunciation and then you are going to Record yourself in bokaroo.com. And then you are going to paste the pronunciation here at the bottom in the discussion forum. I want you to record yourself saying, we will I can act, but I can't sing very well. Esto van a pronunciar. Se va a grabar. Y lo va a pegar aquí abajo en bocaroo.com. In the discussion forum. Ready? Let's practice in pairs. We are going to... We are going to change groups. We are going to change groups. We are going to change groups. Give me one second, please. Vamos a cambiar de grupos. Vamos a cambiar de grupos. Give me one second. We're going to wait for everybody to return. All right. Is everybody back? Yes, we are. Teacher, una consulta. Hi. ¿Nos podemos grabar desde el teléfono? Yes, of course. Vocaroos. ¿Cómo dijo que se llama? Eh, Vocaroo.com. Vocaroo.com. <laughs> I, cannot. I can't sing very well. Vamos a practicar entonces la frase que dijo el teacher. Sí, sí, vamos a enviar el, nos vamos a grabar y vamos a enviar el audio en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Pero acá en la... In this class you'll learn the sound natural when used in... Eh, compañeros, ¿saben en qué parte está esa opción para grabar? Eh, búsquela en Google. Eh, solo que tenés que grabar aparte y poderla como pegar, pegar audio. No ah. está eh, alguna opción en la plataforma para eso. Tengo eh, que grabar. No es, no es de la plataforma la opción, sino es una página web que explicaban como en el primer módulo. Ahí puedes descargar como la grabación, pero ni me recuerdo cómo se llama. Bocaru. Se lo puedes escribir en el chat. Este, no, lo que puedes hacer es como enviarlo al grupo. Lo puedes enviar a este, un amigo que siempre alguien te lo reenvíe y vos lo, este, lo descargas, ya lo mantiene guardado en WhatsApp. De ahí tú lo pegas en la plataforma. Ah, ok, muy bien. Thank you. ¿Para qué? No descargué la aplicación. Yo porque no tengo mucho espacio. ¿no? Entonces, me ha tocado. Sí, sí. <risa> Ajá, es que en el módulo 1 explicaron una aplicación que, que la ocupabas en la web. Y de ahí solo copiabas el link y ya lo ponías en la plataforma. Pero sí no me recuerdo el nombre. Mm, qué raro. Ya no grabador, vi. grabador de voz. Pero si funciona así, eh, mejor. Si se pueden subir los audios del teléfono, mejor. 
Sí, sí, en archivos. I can't sing very well. Teacher, hello, teacher. I tell teacher. El teacher solo observa. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to... It's the pronunciation. Pronunciation. Alguien, no sé, que quiera pronunciarlo. I can... Eh, yo ya lo grabé. Ahí mandé el, el, el link. Ah, va, ese, ese es la, la plataforma en línea, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, va, gracias. No, pero ese es mi audio. Ah, pero, pero eh, igual se abre a la aplicación, ¿no? Ajá, ajá, sí. Sí, verdad, quiero ver. Um, ¿Quién va a compartir pantalla para que lo podamos pegar todo y poner el, lo, el nombre de los grupos? Yo no puedo pegar, no puedo pegar. No puedo grabar el audio, no sé por qué no me da para grabar. Mm. Y no, no tienen, no sé, un teléfono adicional, si sí, sí están con el teléfono para que se graben desde ese teléfono y se lo manden a WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ahorita lo intento. Ajá, porque sale más fácil. Porque ya les voy a enseñar. Esto es lo que me sale a mí. Ah. Me avisan si pueden ver. Ya la escuché. ¿Está bien o está mal? No, sí, sí, está bien. Eh, voy a intentar compartir pantalla. La frase quieren compartir en pantalla. No, la, la plataforma. Ah, vaya. ¿Las comparto? Ah, vaya. En eso estaba, pero le comparto a usted. Ah, vaya. Para que todos pongamos el nombre del grupo y pongamos todos los audios ahí juntos. ¿Esto? Ajá, eso, exacto. Vale, entonces tocará de que poner el tema. Sería pronunciation can, I can't. And can, sí. Y luego pegar lo que son los, los, ese, los audios. Los audio. Yo envié el mío ahí a, al chat. Ajá. Es de poner el, el, lo que es el tema. Verdad, perdón, verdad que eh, si es negativo es como I, I can't. Can't. Sí, can't. Can't. Y cuando es positivo es can. 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 I can y I can't. Sí. Sí. Con una T marcada al final, ¿verdad? I can't. Sí. Y el apóstrofe. Can't. I can't. No, se equivocaron. Es, suenan iguales. Suenan sí. iguales. Sí, can. Creo que eh, solo con, se alarga la palabra. Can. Con N. Y, y la otra forma negativa es can. 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 Ajá, pero sí he notado de que la vocal la pronuncian diferente en negativo. Como por ejemplo, cuando dices positivo, I can. Pero cuando es negativo, escucho como que le hacen I, I, como I can't, algo así. I can't, sí. Es de poner eh, lo, lo del grupo antes que se nos acabe el tiempo. Este, ah, ¿lo, hace, ¿Lo hago yo? Sí. Sí. Okay. Entonces sería... El tema... ¿Cómo es el tema pronunciation? Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ahora, 
eh, participantes, me imagino yo. Los sí. puntos. Dígame sus nombres. Ajá. Eh, ¿Alguien? ¿Con quién si comienzo? Quiere, si quiere, póngase ese primero. Vaya. Las damas primero. Luego. Eh, Catherine Tallejas. ¿Así? Sí, así. ¿Y luego? Yo soy José Leiva. Ay, se lo estoy. Ay. Okay, let me have one volunteer that wants to read the examples. Un voluntario que le gustaría leer la pronunciación. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I can act, but I can see very well. Perfect. Good, good. All right, tell me. Sería, I can't act, but I can't sing very well. Excellent. Excellent. Another volunteer? Another volunteer. Uh, well. Very well. Eric. Okay. I can add. But I can't sing very well. Okay, good, good. All right, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the following activity, which is going to be 5.7. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder Preguntas usando puedo para las habilidades. I can't sing very well. Everybody, please listen and take notes. Escuche y tome apuntes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic or something special singing is something that only a few people can do and most people can't in my case i can't sing at all 
Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys, uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the attendance. It's time to take the attendance. So when I call your name, uh, please say present. If you see your classmate that didn't say present, please let me know. Anna Yanis. Present, teacher. Thank you, Anna. Anna Perez. Present. Excellent. Austin. Present. Very good, Austin. Blanca. Present, teacher. Good job. Brian. Present, teacher. Very good. Christian. Present, teacher. Excellent. 
David Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, David Ramos. Present. Very good. Deborah. Present, teacher. Awesome. Yo puedo. Uh, tell me. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Diego. Diego Mendoza. Absent. Okay. Edwin. Person teacher. All right. Elba. Present teacher. Excellent. Eric. Present. Very good. Ernesto. Present teacher. Excellent. Jessica Romero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Serrano. Present teacher. Awesome. George. Present teacher. All right. Jose. Present. Excellent. Juan. Para nada. Juan Carlos. Absent. Okay. Teacher, yo creo que él está intentando hablar, pero quizás no se le no, no le funciona el audio. Oh, okay, ya lo vi, Juan Carlos. No se me escucha. Okay. Gracias. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Ya lo vi. Let me have Catherine Funes. Good job. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Awesome. Catherine sí. Portillo. Teacher, ahí pusieron presente en el, en el chat de Zoom. Eh, sí, Juan Carlos, sí, ya, ya lo había anotado. Thank you. Let me have eh, Laura. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Laura. Lorena. Awesome. All right. Solo está ausente Diego. Y allí todos estamos presentes. Good job. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward, guys. <clears throat> We are going to practice the conversation. We are going to practice this conversation. Listen and repeat. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, oh look. look. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Yeah. There's, There's a, a talent, talent contest, contest on Saturday. Saturday. Let's, enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? I, I, can't. I, can't, I enter can't enter a talent contest. contest. What, can can do? Do? what can I do? You can sing really well. You can, you can sing, sing really well. well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can, you can too. Oh, oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Well, well, you well, can too. You can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. Oh, oh no. 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 I can't sing at all, but I can, I can play, play, the play, the play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe we can enter the contest. 
expensive. Sure, expensive. why not? Sure, sure. Why, why, not? Not? why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, okay. okay. let's, let's practice, practice tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, what I would like for you to do is I want you guys to practice this conversation with a classmate. I want you to practice this conversation with your classmates. We're going to change groups. Ready? Let's go. Gano, Ernesto, ¿cuánto habemos eh, tres? ¿Quién empieza? Cuatro. Yo. Empezamos, Katherine. Ok. Vamos. Ok. Oh, oh, look, there is a talent contents. Oh, Saturday, let's enter. We can enter a, a talent constant. What can, can I do? You can you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. But I uh, can play the piano. So. Maybe we can enter the content. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's pra let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, alguien conmigo? Yo. Muy bien. Eh, ¿Lo tienes o lo comparto? Aquí, aquí lo tengo. Aquí lo tengo. Okay. Si quieres inicia. Yo yo sigo. Bye. <coughs> Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What I can do? You I'm can, good. you Ta can, uh, you, can it. you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing her at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay. I am high. Falta, falta alguien? No falta. Okay. Es el que no haría conmigo. Si quieres. Bueno. Oh, look, there is a talent contest. Oh, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. Well, what can I do? You can see really new. Well, oh, can. Where you can do? Oh, no, I can't see a I'll move and I can play the piano. Oh, maybe we can enter the content. Maybe not. Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Alguien más lo quiere volver a a a repetir y así. Yo. Delen pues, delen, delen. No sé si... Ok, conmigo, si gusta. Si Vaya, gusta, empiece usted. Empiece usted. Yo empezaré a prueba, a ver. No sé. Ok. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. 
Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, gracias. Mm, no quiero practicar yo, pero quiero iniciar. <laughs> Okay, si gusta, démosle. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent content. Um, Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see, sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing a, a book. I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. Thank you. Alguien más que quiera practicar? Yo. Dele pues. Eh, Va, dele empiezo. conmigo si quiere. <laughs> Va. Va, <Vaya>, empiezo. <clears throat> oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe... We can enter the constant. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Alguien más que quiera practicar? Yo. Débora, Delmi. Sí, sí, yo. Dele con Delmi entonces. Okay, que comience ella. Pero al revés porque ya fui yo calda. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Uh, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can't sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can't play the piano. So maybe we can and there the constant. Sure, why why not? Why, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Alguien más. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two, okay. okay Catherine, Catherine is okay. going to be Kayla. Esmeralda. And Esmeralda is going to be uh, Philip. Oh, look. Philip. There's a talent constant on Saturday. Let's enter. I cannot enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at a book. I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Good job, Esmeralda and Catherine. Esmeralda, select somebody. Catherine, select somebody. A few minutes, teacher. Austin, okay. Austin is going to be Kayla. Elba, okay. Elba is going to be Elba is going to be Philip. Ah, okay. Ahorita. 
Action. Thank you, Sir Philip. Yes. If you're yes. Oh, look, there is a talent contest. On Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sign really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. That's right. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Good job. All right, uh, go ahead, Austin, select somebody. Elba, select somebody. Uh, Esmeralda. Esmeralda ya participó. ¿Alguien ah, más? Eh, Katia. Katia. Katrin Yamilet o Katrin Abigail. Yamilet. Eh, Katrin Yamilet ya participó. Ah, entonces, este. Jorge, teacher. Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, you're going to be Deborah. Kayla, Deborah, Philip. Action. Uh, George is going to be Kayla. Deborah is going to be Fill up. Action. Okay. Oh, look, there's a coming question on Saturday, for example. No se escucha. Allá a lo lejos se le escucha el compañero. Okay, okay. Vamos con David. A David se le escucha clarito. Okay, David. You're going to be Kayla, Deborah, Philip. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can you do? You can sing very well. Oh, thanks. What you can do? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. Uh, my bit we can and the the constant. Sure, why not? Okay, let's crack tomorrow. Good job, excellent work. Thank you. All right, let's have the last one. The last one. Uh, let's see, um, David Rodriguez. And um, Catherine Yvonne. Inicio yo, teacher. Yes. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see it really well. Oh, thanks. Will you can too? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Good job. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Who can tell me what you learned in today's class? ¿Qué aprendió en la clase de hoy? Teacher, one question. Yes, oh, Eric. Oh. Eh, okay, para tenerlo más claro, eh, Ken, al principio, es para, para pregunta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, hay eh, Ken... You, eh, y el verbo, room, uh -huh. o, lo, o lo que sea. Eso es para pregunta. Yes, correcto. Can you yes. run? Can you cook? 
Can you uh -huh. walk? Can you drive? Uh -huh. Y I can eat es como para afirmar, yo puedo. That is correct. I can drive, I can play video games, I can speak English. Correct. Okay, okay thank you. Yo también tengo una pregunta. Yes, David. Este, ¿En qué contexto se utiliza so y then? Que ah, como ah. tengo entendido son palabras con significado similar. Uh, correct. Son como muletillas. Los americanos lo usan como muletillas. Así como nosotros decimos, o sea, y entonces, pues sí, son como muletillas. Catherine. Okay. All right, guys, it's time to go. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.